everybody, JC here with another TNI Toy Review. And for today's review, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comic book based Shredder and the Evil Foot Clan box set from NECA Toys. Now this set was offered as a New York Comic Con exclusive this year. It comes packaged in this rectangle shaped box and you've got some pretty cool artwork featuring Shredder and the Foot Soldiers on the front. The box measures about a little bit over or under I should say 19 inches in length and the height of it is just about 9 inches exactly. On the sides again you've got some more artwork and everything on the bottom you've got the credits it tells us that the sculpts were by the four horsemen studios and then on the back of the packaging you've got images of the actual figures you've got shredder there and he says come face your doom foot join me and then if you don't want to take the figures out of the packaging you can just lift up this front flap it attaches with velcro and you've got the figures clearly displayed inside in this window box and then on the top flap you've got more comic book art featuring shredder and the teenage mutant ninja turtles all right let's get this open and take a look at what's inside Okay, so here's a look at the figures outside of the packaging along with the other contents. Now each figure comes with an extra pair of open hands and attached to the figure are closed fisted hands and then there are various weapons that you can give to basically any of the figures. And then also we get this uh, Krang, which is pretty cool. It's uh, pink, looks like a wadded up thing of uh, bubble gum as he should. And he's got the black marks and the eyes and the little teeth and everything. The front arms are tentacles whatever you want to call these are actually articulated so you can do them up and down uh, the other tentacles are not this is just a, a solid base piece but very cool that they've given us this uh, crank head to go along with the other figures so as I said, each figure comes with an extra set of hands. The hands that are attached to the figures when you take them out are closed fisted and then you get a pair that look almost the same except they're open. So the regular foot soldier guys, um, both are exactly the same between the two figures and they've just got this brown wrapping that goes over their knuckle and then you've got the, the black stripes in between their fingers. Now Shredder, Shredder has the claws on them and the claws are done with just a, a soft rubber type material. Now the claws on the extra pair of hands the open hands are very straight on my figure however the ones that were attached to the f uh, figure when you take it out um, the closed fisted hands you can see the claws got kind of bent again because they're that soft rubber so you'll probably need to take something like a hair dryer to straighten that out if you want and then the final uh, pair of hands go to the the foot soldier with the the foot clan member with the hat and he's got more of a um, padding that goes over his whole hand that's kind of checkered and again he's got the black lines in between the fingers. So switching out the hands is easy. You just uh, pull off the hand you want to replace and you've got the peg on the hand and the hole in the arm and then you just plug in the hand that you want to replace it with and it snaps right in there nice and tight. We get a number of various weapons with this set and you can pretty much match these up with whatever figure you want. You get this staff that has a blade on the end of it and the blades are more metallic silver and then the handles are kind of a, a, a darker gray color and then you've got these black stripings throughout to give it that kind of comic book art look to it. You get two swords and these are exactly the same. You get two daggers. You get one with a straight blade and one with a curved blade. You get this double handed type dagger. I don't know what the name of this weapon is. And then you get this nunchuck type deal. Again, I don't know the proper name for this weapon, but on one handle you've got a, a spiked ball and then the other handle you've got a blade and then they're connected with a chain. And as long as you have the grip hands on the figure, they'll hold the weapons nice and tight. So for the figures themselves, I like the sculpting detail and paint applications seem to be solid on these. As I mentioned before, these figures are based on the comic book version of the characters, the original comic book version, which is why they're wearing these kind of reddish maroon color outfits as opposed to like the purple and, and stuff that we're accustomed to seeing in the cartoons. The two regular foot soldiers that we get are almost identical. The only difference comes with their heads and one hat you can see has a headband on. It's got this piece that sticks out the back that's done with a vinyl material. It also has some extra black marks over the eyes on this one. But otherwise, these two figures are pretty much identical as far as paint applications and sculpting and everything. 
The third foot soldier is a little bit different. The torso and the legs are pretty much the same, but you have the extra padding on the wrists and the hands, like I mentioned before. He's got a totally different head, so he's got this brown hat, and this actually, it turns, I don't, I don't know why, but you can actually turn it. And then he's got the mask that's similar to Shredder's that covers his face, and he's got this uh, tunic piece that comes down over the um, back of his head and on the side. And this is a pretty hard plastic. He's got a cape that is done with a vinyl material and it's got that kind of tattered look to it. If you, if you could pop the head off, and I haven't really tried, you could take the cape off, but otherwise it's not really removable. And then as I said, this uh, torso section is pretty much the same as, as the other foot soldiers and they've used this kind of vinyl material for the bottom tunic pieces and the legs again are pretty much the same. Um, the arms are, are a little bit different. You got a little bit different paint applications with the arms with the with the black uh, striping and the black striping is done basically to give it that comic book feel to it so even though it stands out a little bit on the figures it's meant to again to give it that comic book feel which I like that and I also forgot to mention on the regular foot soldiers you've got this brown wrapping um, around the neck you have it on, on this one as well, but you don't see it as much because of the cape. And then finally, we have Shredder. Shredder is the most different of the four figures. Got a totally different head, very true to you know how we think of Shredder with the sculpting with these metal pieces on the top and then the back piece, which is silver. And they've done this line, you know, this would kind of move so he could bend his head this actual it doesn't actually move it's just sculpt the line is just sculpted on there but that's what it's for with the chainmail type deal and then again he's got the brown wrappings around his neck he's uh, got these shoulder pads and these are a separate piece that are appear to be just uh, kind of glued onto the figure and they're done with a kind of a softer rubber material as is with the spikes same with the ones on his um, wrists and then the ones on, down here on his ankles as well and these are, are all appear to be glued on and they're done with a kind of softer rubber type material. Then he's got this tunic piece which again is kind of that vinyl material like we see with the capes and stuff. He does not actually have a cape. This version of Shredder doesn't have a cape but again I think the detailing on it's pretty good. He's got the black around the eyes with the whited out eyes so I think that looks good and then you know again he's got the claws on his hands. So the two regular foot soldiers are the shortest of the bunch and they stand at just about six and a half inches tall. And then Shredder and the third foot soldier are pretty close to the same height and they stand closer to about six and three quarter inches tall. Maybe Shredder is a hair taller than the other foot soldier, but again, they're pretty close to the same height. Here's a comparison with some of the other NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle comic book based figures. So we've got April Neal, one of the Mausers, and Leonardo, the comic book based Leonardo figure year and you can see the scale is pretty good between these. I do not have the recently released San Diego Comic Con video game exclusive figures from NECA so I can't give you a comparison of those. Here's a comparison with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles classic Leonardo figure from Playmates Toys and the SH figure it's Donatello figure and Shredder is the tallest of the bunch however definitely I would not say the classic figure and the Shredder figure in scale with one another. Articulation is pretty much the same across the board with these. You can turn the head to the left and to the right and you've got some back and forth movement with the head you actually have pretty good back and forth movement with these now with shredder the as i mentioned before he's got these shoulder pads and so you can get the arm out good but really can't rotate the arms the other ones that's not a problem with but on shredder you really can't rotate the arm all the way around because of the shoulder pad does have a bicep swivel has a double jointed elbow so can bend his elbow about that much and then has swivels at the wrist and hinges on the hands so he's He's got some up and down movement there with the hands. You've got, doesn't have an ab crunch, but does have a rotation there at the waist. And then you can do the splits pretty good. You can get the legs out pretty good. And you can do the leg forward good. And you can do the leg back pretty good. It's got a thigh swivel up high. It's got a double jointed knee, so good bending there at the knee. And then has hinges on the feet, so up and down movement. Basically, they're on a ball type joint. So you have some pivot, not a whole lot, but you do 
have some and you've got rotation and then they have actual toe articulation as well with these and two peg holes on the bottom of the feet. So that's my review. Overall, I like these figures. I like the sculpting detail. I like the paint applications. And if you're a fan of the original comic book art, I think these are figures you want to add to your collection, especially if you've been collecting the other NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures. Now, as I mentioned before, this was offered as a New York Comic Con exclusive. NECA was selling these online before Comic Con, but I'm pretty sure they sold out already. So at this point, if you haven't gotten them, you'll probably have to resort to the secondary market. We'll have a full image gallery up at toynewseye.com. There'll be a link in the video description below. As always, leave a comment. Let us know what you think. If you're so inclined, please like the video. Also, if you haven't already, please follow me on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. I'll have links to those in the video description below. And until next time, I'll catch you later. Oh,